Hey y'all, it is your girl Chastity J and I'm back with a quick message from God. Y'all, do me a favor. Come here. Go and ask God to show you you. Ask, literally, just ask God that whenever you go into prayer with him, ask God to show you you. Show you your flaws. Um, show you who you are, how he sees you. Um, and just show you areas that you can probably improve on because we're all a work in progress and when you ask god god this please have your heart open to receive what he shows you so that you can be self-aware you can also be um accountable and you know just be brutally honest with god and just ask him to show you you because the way that you uh, present yourself and show up may be completely different from how God receive you and perceive you. Excuse me, y'all, because God sees the heart. So let him show you you as we are constantly evolving, elevating and working on our fruits of the spirit. You know, we talk about that here all the time your fruits may be a little rotten okay you may not be as patient as you thought you were you may not be as loving as gentle as kind um may lack self-awareness which a lot of folks do so you know if you do not know what the fruits of the spirit fruits of the spirit is um there's nine so go in your bible and go to galatians i believe chapter five um, I don't, I think the verses is like 25 or so, you know, I may be wrong, but go and open your Bible and look and read the word and read what are the fruits of the spirit and ask God, once he shows you, you ask God to help you develop those fruits or strengthen those fruits. Just partner with God, y'all. We are just trying to become our absolute best version of ourselves and become the person that God ordained us to be, that man or that woman. But you gotta be honest with yourself because all of our stuff stink, okay? I am here to tell you. I am constantly asking God daily, show me, show me who I am. Show me how you see me. Show me my weak areas. And lately God been showing me, baby, you need to read. <laughs> you need to read, okay? You need to read and pay better attention to detail uh, versus just knowing things without fully reading the directions. But, you know, just ask God to show you because we're all just working on ourselves. And it's a beautiful thing when you partner with God and you let God show you who you are versus leaning onto a man, leaning onto things that the naysayers may have said or people that are jealous of you, that admire you, or that lack accountability for themselves. So they show ain't gonna hold you accountable and they show ain't gonna be real with you. And that may be those folks that are keeping you in sin, keeping, uh, hindering you from your growth because you won't let them go. All right. We, we ain't going to even get into that on this video, but just do me a favor. Go and sit with God and say, God, show me who I am. Show me every part of me. Show me the areas that I need to work on, but also show me how you see me. Because sometimes we may lack confidence and you may not even know, um, or you are aware and you're insecure and God is going to just show you that he doesn't make anything ugly, but he's going to show you how loving you are, how much he loves you and how he sees you. And, or he's going to show you uh, the potential that you have and give you instructions on how to become that person that he sees you or that he, um, he desires you to become and that he created you to be. So go and partner with God, y'all. It may it may be a little ugly once he show you you because you're going to be like, uh-uh, Jesus, that ain't me. No, I am loving. He gonna be like, mm, but you still got a lot of unforgiveness in your heart, child. Mm, I'm in somebody's business. You may be like, oh God, you know, um, I'm doing better with dating or with picking friends and, you know, uh, with my discernment. And he gonna be like, really? Because you keep ending up in the same situation. So somewhere in there, you may lack some self-awareness. 
because if it's the same situation with different people, sweetheart, you're the common denominator. Let me say it again. You're the common denominator. And whatever that may be or mean, you know, you got to go to God, see God, all right? But, you know, just partner with him and just be prepared to accept the truth. And God is going to tell you, but it's going to be from a loving space versus man telling you that may be a little malicious, maybe um, projecting their own insecurities on you, or may even be, um, you know, that they just don't care. They just going to tell you what you want to hear. Okay. All right, y'all share this video with some folks. And go and spend some time with God. Open up your Bible and read it. And read Galatians chapter 5. But also just spend time with God. And just, you know, let him love on you. Especially if you're in a season of singleness or a season um, where you feel like you're a little lonely. Let God love on you. God is your companion. He is your father. He loves you. Love you more than men ever would. All right, y'all.